We just finished hosting GDevelop's second big game jam, where over 1,200 developers made a game in 10 days with the theme Pets or Companions. Using that theme, developers made games ranging from funny to frantic to, frankly, being kind of dark. But let's begin with the community picks. Developers in the top 10 will win a 6-month pro membership to GDevelop, and if they're in our Discord, we'll get a fancy new role that'll give them bragging rights. Starting with the game in 10th. Split by Squilaus and Neo Tangel, where you need to reunite the white and black cat, but each cat can only interact with their own respective color. And then in ninth place, Why Is It So Hard To Get Up? by 90 Ralph, where you play a character whose dog just passed away, and you have to confront what comes after. And then in eighth place, My Friend Bob Wants a Burger by Ringa which is a game where your friend Bob wants a burger. In seventh is Tamer Stuck in a Dungeon by GM637Legend, in which you tame slimes and then use those slimes to combat enemies. In 6th, we have Pets World by Vegetato, a puzzle platformer game where you switch forms in order to complete parts of the level. In 5th, Duct Tape by Roasted, which is a lane runner game where the main character is a mother duck trying to get her chicks to safety. Next in 4th place is Falconer by Pandaco, where you determine the angle and power that your falcon flies at to try to reach the furthest distance possible. In 3rd, we have Dago Promenade by Diabolic which is a point-and-click game where you're trying to accomplish tasks in a strange way. In second place, we have A Boy's Pet Rock by Nut3D, which is a Choices Matter story game that includes a giant chain gun monster thing. And the number one community voted game is Bob and Flop by Team Disgrace, where the two characters are joined together by a rope and you need to throw Flop around to move Bob and solve puzzles. And now before we get to the judges picks, we'd like to show some honorable mentions. Starting with Scrap Metal where you pick companions to help you fight while you run around and try not to die. Then Jim Jam and Kitty, which is a puzzle platformer where you use the fact that one character is tall and the other is fast to get through the puzzles. Then Tap Tap Monkey, which is a frantic tapping game where you try to keep the monkey out of the water. And then Grand Theft Fish Food, a stealth game where you steal money from guards to buy fish food for the fish. And finally, Little Venture, a puzzle platformer game with two characters that both need to make it to the end of the level. And now, the judges' picks. These could be any games from the jam, not just the ones mentioned in this video. So starting with fifth place, The Great Jelly Escape by Atomic Potato, 
a game in where you move your characters around, using their strengths and advantages, in order to get the King Jelly to the end. <laughs> huh? In fourth place, we have Tamer Stuck in a Dungeon by GM637Legend, where you and your slime companions fight through a dungeon, earning coins and upgrades along the way. In third place is Armed Companions by Vinawi, where you pick companions that will help you fight off waves of enemies. And in second place, Jigger and Duff by Andre and William Holtz, which is a top-down adventure game where you play as the hero and his companion Jigger. <coughs> and finally, in first place, Super Chicken TD by Texu Gozap and Tempty One, which is a tower defense game where you can give a chicken a bazooka. If you were a member of the community picks or the judges picks, there's a link down below that will show you how to collect your prize. This game jam has been another huge success, so a big thank you to all of the game developers, moderators, judges, and community members who hung around to play test games and give feedback. It is all very appreciated. I hope that you enjoyed this event as much as we did, and that you'll keep creating games, because maybe next time we'll be showcasing something you made.